Good morning, good afternoon everybody. It's fantastic to see strikers from the three Bs, British Airways, Bank of England and Bart Serco. This is Fight Back Thursday. And I'm really, really pleased to see that Mark Carney is taking notice of this demonstration. If anyone hasn't noticed, he's up there, the one on the left. None of you have got their underpants on, but Mark Carney is hiding something I can see at the front there. Right. That's, that's right, sister. Listen, you, you've come together today, you all do very, very different jobs. You keep our hospitals safe and clean. You keep millions of passengers on airlines safe and secure. You make sure that the world's most famous financial institution is secure and it runs smoothly. You do very, very different jobs. You inhabit different worlds. But one thing has united you. And that's the feeling that your employers, your CEOs, your directors have failed to recognise the worth of your efforts, have failed to recognise the contribution you make day in, day out to the success of the employers that you work for. And you've also noticed that your employers, your CEOs and your directors are very happy to award themselves millions of pounds in salary and bonuses. While they think they can impose corporate pay deals, 1% pay caps or worse on the workers that make their profits and make the success of their companies and organisations for them. But they've forgotten to factor in one thing and that's that Unite members have said enough is enough. Enough of pay freezes. Enough of pitiful pay rises. We want our fair share. We want equality and we want dignity. Unite members, Unite members in the three Bs have organised in recent months. They've organised around the things they feel deeply and strongly about. 1,000 new members of British Airways, comrades. What a fantastic result. 600 new members at Bart Circa. What a fantastic result. And over 150 members already at the Bank of England after just three days of strike action. And we're going to grow that figure. Organising, communicating effectively, growing in determination and confidence, and yes, standing up and fighting back and striking when necessary. We say to all employers who all their weasel words are saying the same thing, that we're happy to talk, we're happy to come and meet you. Well, they might be happy to talk, but it's about time they bloody listen to their workforce. It's about time they negotiated seriously. It's about time they sat down with us and looked at those profits that have been mentioned and said it's time to start sharing it out. I want to say some thank yous. I want to say thank you to every shop steward, every representative, every lay member who's turned out on the picket lines. already about Mercedes, Sanchez, Redondo, but I'll say it again, what a fantastic contribution she's made to getting the first strike in this Bank of England for 320 years. I want to say thank you, I want to say thank you to our organisers, Mark Sandell, Matt Dorweeks and all our other organisers, Gloria Sindel, who was the officer, and now Ruth Hyden, who's the officer for our Bart Serco members. Fantastic job you've done in building this organisation, building this campaign, building this strike. And I also want to say a big thank you to Matt Smith, the officer that stood with the British Airways mixed fleet strikers from day one. 